Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video today. We finna react to 17 minutes of WWE's most embarrassing losses. Mm, this should be a good one. Uh, embarrassing losses. The ones I can't think of off the top of my head is uh Kevin Federline beating John Cena. <laughs> That was the most embarrassing loss I think I've ever saw. John Cena getting beat by Kevin Federline. That was crazy. They did all that just to promote that nigga whack ass album. That's crazy. But anyways, though, without further ado, let's get right into it. One show. Is this someone? Shout out to Wrestling, Wrestling. Every now back. and then we'll see a top star lose to someone we weren't expecting. Like a career mid-carder or someone on the ascent. Some of these results had fans jumping for joy and in shocked excitement. While others had us all scratching our heads. We'll be covering a mix of both today with defeats that were done by pinfall or submission only. As we list countless shocking and embarrassing upset losses in wrestling. The nature of The Undertaker's mythical character meant that he rarely lost. Especially to non-main eventers. <laughs> Not only that, but every few months there would be a new monster heel ready to challenge him. And though Taker usually came out on top, there were a select few that got the better of the Phenom. Oh, the great Kali. Such as Mabel at King of the Ring 1995. Oh, R.P. to Viscera. Other infamous examples include Vladimir Kosov on SmackDown in February 2009 in what has to go down as the most embarrassing defeat of Taker's career. The fact that it was a clean loss makes it all the worse. And think about it, they never did anything with this man after this. They put this man with Santino Morello. Vince was just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we got rid of Vince. Thank God we got rid of Vince. Vince is gone. Thank God. Cause Lord have mercy. God, if you listen in hell. Uh, Cause P Diddy be wanting to body, and you gotta tell him no. Oh, you no. got to tell him no. Oh, I, I did. <laughs> Given how hard he was pushed coming in, fans may have thought the great Carly would beat Undertaker, but surely not in as convincing and dominant a fashion as how it went down at Judgment Day 2006, as the Phenom did the honors clean for yet another lumbering oath. Watch out, Walter, boot by Kali. What the hell are you kidding me? I can't believe this. As the biker taker, upsets were more common. Including three notable losses via pinfall. First to Rikishi on Raw in December 2000. Second in a hardcore title defense versus Maven on SmackDown in February 2002. Well, to be fair, <laughs> interference. And third to Matt Hardy in a Fool's Count Anywhere match in October 02. All these were interference. Before he was the top heel that ruled Monday Night Raw in the Ruthless Aggression era, where he almost never lost, Triple H racked up a number of shock defeats all within a three year stretch. For example, in August 99, his former girlfriend China scored two pinfall victories over the game in successive weeks on Raw. A month later, Helmsy lost the WWF Championship to Vincent Kennedy McMahon on SmackDown. In November of the same year, Tess picked up one of the biggest wins of his career by pinning Hunter on the night of the iconic wedding with Stephanie. Next was a controversial loss to The Godfather on SmackDown in March of 2000. <laughs> Don't forget the famous match with Chris Jericho on Raw a month later for the WWF title. In July that year, the Cerebral Assassin found himself on the losing end against the Brooklyn Brawler of all people. Jericho was involved once again, this time on SmackDown in May 2002, where he helped Reverend Devon beat the game. 
He blocks it a shot to the head. Kick it out this oh, way. Damn it. Man. In the same month, Tess gained his second pinfall victory over Hunter. <laughs> In April 2001, Triple H defended the Intercontinental Championship against Jeff Hardy on SmackDown. Bro, all these was interference though. But it's lit though. It's lit though. Jeff, Jeff Hardy. The game once more at Armageddon in 2007. Oh yeah, this, this, oh, oh, go it, go it. They don't understand, dude. They don't understand, bro. This shit was golden. Jeff Hardy won the WWE Championship. Y'all don't know the tears that came down my eyes when I saw that shit, bro. I was ready to go to school the very next day, bro, with tears in my eyes, bro. Y'all don't understand, bro. Y'all don't understand, bro. We, as as a long time Jeff Hardy fan, <laughs> I'm trying to find the me. The long time Jeff Hardy fan, y'all don't know how many tears was coming down my eyes when I saw that shit. Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Nigga, it, it, that was the best moment ever, dog. That was the best moment ever. See Jeff Hardy win the uh win the WWE Championship off of Triple H of all people. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. And then on SmackDown in November 08. Hardy, falls behind. Whoa, 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 whoa. The roll up. There's a roll up. Got him. You got yeah. The game's first upset loss after his reign of terror ended came versus Shelton Benjamin on Raw in April 2004. Yeah, Four months later, it was Eugene that picked up a shocking victory. Believe it or not, good old JR has won in the win column over Triple H, occurring on Raw in April 2005. Oh yeah, JR did beat, uh... Did beat Triple H. the midst of his undefeated streak, the Samoan bulldozer Umaga knocked off the game on Raw in August 2006. A month later, and it was Vince McMahon's turn to defeat Helmsley for a second time in his career. But the surprising Triple H losses came at the hands of Legacy in August 2009. And even Vladimir Kozlov on SmackDown in January 09. And they did nothing with this man after this. Pointless victories. So far, we've covered wrestlers with a bunch of upset losses in their career. But now let's look at someone with only a few. That being the beast, Brock Lesnar. Eddie Guerrero first upset Lesnar when Latino Heat rolled up on Brock on the Go Home Smack. Once again, tears coming down my eyes, man. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. I don't understand, dog. Down before their match at No Way Out 2004. Eddie then did it again at the pay per view to win the WWE Championship. Eddie to the top, Eddie <gasps> yeah. 
Even though they were unexpected, we won't count Seth Rollins or Big Show's wins over Brock as upsets, since those two were already multiple time WWE and WCW champions respectively when they pinned Lesnar. Instead, we'll go to WrestleMania 36, when Drew McIntyre convincingly put away the beast in short order, winning the WWE title in the process. Claymore! A fourth Claymore! Two! Drew McIntyre! A year before his first world title win, Cody Rhodes slayed the beast in two separate outings on pay per view in 2023. And we can't forget when Brock lost to Goldberg at Survivor Series 2016 after only 1 minute and 26 seconds. Fuck Goldberg. So far we've. Fuck Goldberg. Fuck Goldberg. Fuck Goldberg, man. Y'all could go to hell. Y'all could say Goldberg and go to hell. Fuck Goldberg. In Jesus' name, fuck this nigga looked at top stars who surprisingly put over middle lower card talent. Let's take a break from this list now to highlight times where local competitors and jobbers picked up rare victories over established main roster wrestlers. Like when Barry Horowitz finally won a match in 1996 after a lengthy losing streak. How about when Sean Waltman defeated Razor Ramon on Raw in 1993 to become the 1-2-3 kid? Believe it or not, Stone Cold Steve Austin once took an L courtesy of two enhancement talents during a handicap match in December 1996. Here comes the Bulldog with a clothesline! Wait, can you yes, No! Colin Delaney was getting decimated on WWE ECW for months before at last picking up a win in May 2008 and earned a contract in the process. After being destroyed in a squash match by Braun Strowman, God, James damn. Ellsworth returned to action on SmackDown in October 2016 by pinning WWE Champion at the time, AJ oh, Styles, yeah, and that was wild. Another dirty That was wild. An example of a jobber actually winning a belt occurred on Raw in November 1998 during Dwayne Gill's match with Christian for the light heavyweight strap. Oh, Gilbert. Hey, Gilbert got voted though. Fuck Goldberg, but Gilbert is goaded. Gilbert, Gilbert. Shout out to Gilbert. In Jesus' name, fuck this nigga. No, you, you cannot. Yeah. This happened again when Leon Ruff pinned Johnny Gargano on NXT for the North American Championship in November 2020. And although not a jobber at the time, Santino Morella posed as a fan and would defeat yeah. Umaga in the Intercontinental title. That was a goaded way to debut, bruh. I thought this was real. I was like, oh no, bruh, they let actual people in the crowd. I thought this shit was real. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out this nigga was a whole fucking uh this nigga was a whole fucking WWE superstar this whole time man fuck out of here title on his first official match with the company I can't believe it the kid wraps the ticket sets it ringside Rock was one of the most giving top guys of any era Hey, say what you want, but Rock, but Rock was for the company, man. Rock was a company, man. He put you over if he needed to, bro. Shout out to The Rock. Just in terms of those he helped elevate and make stars by putting over in the ring. But also, when it comes to underneath or mid-card level talent, he laid down for throughout his time as the WWE's top babyface. The Great One did the job multiple times for the likes of Chris Jericho. Chris Benoit. Damn. The pressure. You can see his hand. And the rock taps 
Rob Van Dam. Edge and Christian. Damn. Yeah, that yeah, that's a legit loss right there. And believe it or not, two of the McMahon family. Hey, yep. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. We not just gonna skip past it like we didn't just see what the fuck we just saw. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hold on, go back. I, I, we, we not gonna go past this like we didn't just see what we just saw. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hell no. No wonder this nigga gone. No wonder this nigga gone. No wonder this nigga gone. Hell no. Hey, yo. I know that's his daughter and all that, but on the lips? Hell no. Trash ass nigga. Hell to the no. To the no, 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 no. Hell no, no. To the no, no. Hell to the no, no. To the no, no. I know you fucking lying, dog. I know you fucking lying, dog. She, 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 she. Oh shit! Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Hey yo, what the fuck? No sir, not me. No. What the fuck, y'all? God damn! God damn! God damn! What? Fuck! 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 I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How? Wait. First of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Stop playing, folk. No bogus ass waves. Get your freaky ass on. Freaky frog. You freaky frog. You a freaky frog. You fucking freaky frog. You a freaky frog. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god Hey, 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 run for your life Hey, 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 run for Let your life Let me say O-V-Ho O-V-Ho Say O-V-Ho O-V-Ho Then step this way Step that way Then step this way Step that way Are you Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? Police! What's Police! that, brother? Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You what? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Cut that bitch off. Next caller. Believe it or not, two of the McMahon family. Vince's elbow, please. The McMahons are just the tip of the iceberg, though. What and in 1999 alone. Please! Please! Now! It's an evil world we live in. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. I beg your pardon? You don't find that suspicious. The I beg your pardon? Don't ask, I said don't ask, I said don't ask, no questions. When the people's champ was turned over by Billy Gunn twice. Billy, but my, Bob, but my name's Billy. It doesn't matter what your name is. What did he do? My God, what? Hardcore Holly. I like love, Tara and look at Foley. He didn't move. And the Holly. The big boss man. Prince oh, yeah. Over the stakes are hot. Oh, no. Slam. Out of nowhere. He got me. And Al Snow. And 
Mr. Ass, and don't tell me! The Brahma Bulls most famous upset loss however came courtesy of the Hurricane on Raw in March 2003. Three notable jobs The Rock did for lower card wrestlers during his rapid ascent in 1998 occurred versus Mark Henry at Judgment Day. X-Pac in a tag match during the summer. And against the lethal weapon Steve Blackman on Raw in February. I'm afraid you're right. Hey! Oh, D-Lo! With a dumb touch right in the back! No! Yeah! During his ascent and at the height of his popularity, it was rare to see John Cena lose. It happened when the story called Very rare. And usually only to the big stars. It was seemingly rarer for John to do the favors for those who were mid carders at the time, or even non wrestlers, but it actually happened more than you might think. Oh. 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 To be fair, this is early John Cena. This ain't a mid carter. Rob Van Dam is not a mid carter, bro. Let's stop with the disrespect. Around this time, Rob Van Dam was him, bro. Yeah. But Ed is passing in. Oh. He got it. Oh. And again, look at this. DiBiase, Bobby Cena, and they jump and set right out of the ring. Play the with a crew to run. Shoulders are down. Oh. Head theory top oh. off with Cena into the eight. Cena did a lot to help The Miz and CM Punk get over, including losing to them on numerous occasions. RP to Bray Wyatt. That was a terrible. No. I no, that was a terrible fucking match. The fact that Miz was concussed damn near the last. The fact that Miz was concussed the last the, the last couple of minutes of that match is ridiculous, bro. Nah, Chief. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. Nah, that was a terrible fucking match at WrestleMania. For the AA and Miz with a kick. Look at the forearm right to the face. Our truth. Hey. Oh, for a third time. Go to sleep connects. Punk has done it. Hey. Little Jimmy wants some water. Go to sleep, Punk. Striking. It's not that way. And see him, Punk. GPS connecting. Oh my God. Seen has also done multiple jobs to wrestlers such as Seth Rollins. Here we go. Good night. Alberto Del Rio. Wade Barrett. Shit. Shit. be fair though that first match against Carlito he was going away to fill in the marine so yeah eh. eh. all right I guess but he came right back and won his title back so and Justin Gabriel But perhaps John's most upset shocking losses came against names like Kevin Federline. I told y'all. Kevin fucking Federline. Heath Slater. John Laurinaitis. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Him, him losing to John Laurinaitis was crazy. Orlando Jordan. Fuck John Laurinaitis. We need to, uh... We need to give that nigga a fuck you too, cause he he was part of that Vince McMahon shit. 
He was part of that Vince McMahon shit. Nah, brother. Nah, nah. John Laurinaitis was part of that Vince McMahon shit. Nah, 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 nigga. Where, where, where that? Where that? Here you go. In Jesus' name, fuck this nigga. Then Miss McMahon. I right, we're going to spin it and hit you with nine hands of Mr. McMahon. And the great Carly, clean no less. The beginning of the year. John Cena planted. That's it. A count of two and three. And Cena also put over Kevin Owens clean. That close line. Oh, it's Papa Powerbomb. Cover on Cena. Hook of the leg. Oh, that was a good match, match. As well as Daniel Bryan. That set up an incredible storyline. Just pin him already. Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura takes shots on. Nakamura's going to SummerSlam. AJ Styles. Here comes that phenomenal. That was a great rivalry too for a little bit. Bray Wyatt. Ah, Peter Bray. Braun Strowman. To be fair, this is old man Cena. And Dean Ambrose. Once again, this is old man Cena. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video of WWE wrestlers on TV before they were stars. Hope you have a Alrighty, that's what's gonna about to do it. Shout out to excuse me. Shout out to wrestling flashback. But anyways, that's just gonna about to do it for this one. I'll see y'all next video. Till then. Peace out.